I just had some random thoughts about these buildings called churches, and uh, thought I'd make a video on it a little bit, but just thinking about how it's all manipulation and brainwashing, and it's all deception, and there's, um, <clears throat> I mean, a certain amount of it is like self-deception, too, because anybody who knows any, any little bit of the Bible, um, they know that Jesus did not attend, you know, a, a church building. He was not a part of a, a specific denomination. You know, um, Jesus and the apostles, they didn't go to such and such organization. You know, these organizations, they only go back hundreds of years. If that, you know, they don't go back at the time of Christ. It's not in the Bible. So people are self-deceived, but there's also deception once they once they're involved there or from you know from preachers or whatever deceiving them and twisting the word of god um, and i understand some of the reasons why i think that people go there is for fellowship they just they want they want to be around people they want to be complimented they want to you know have discussion or whatever um, they don't want to discuss about the Word of God, obviously, but they, uh... And I mean, some people that go there are truly saved, but they, you know, they're either backslidden or, you know, they're new in the faith or whatever. But, I mean, it's, there's, there is no real fellowship there. It's all a facade, because once you leave the building or whatever, then more than likely most of the people aren't going to have contact with you anymore. And I do believe that the Bible definitely teaches separation and everything, but it's it's not it's separating for the wrong reasons, you know. We're supposed to believers people who are truly saved are supposed to separate from people who call themselves believers who are in sin. Um but these buildings called churches, they'll they'll allow people to be in sin and come in all the time and uh you know they won't separate from them but if you leave the building or whatever that's the that's the unpardonable sin <laughs> that's when people will separate from you um you know it's all a facade it's all deception it's all manipulation and brainwashing and you know i said that it's self deception in some ways because people know that it's not biblical but yet they'll do it and then you know there's deception too like um i've heard a lot of baptists say that you know Baptist, the Baptist denomination is biblical because John was a Baptist, you know, John the Baptist. But we all know that John was called a Baptist because he baptized people with water. And not because he was part of a Baptist denomination. That is deception. That is using the word of God deceitfully. And it is manipulation. It's manipulation, deception, and that's harmful. You know, people might think that's just something that's a little innocent, but it's not. I mean, it's that 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 deception has been used to manipulate people for years and years and years, and to make these buildings and to get money and to just grow and grow and grow and to teach lies and deceive people to make false converts. You know, and spread more lies. And it's wicked, and it's the work of the devil, and uh, just there's just nothing really genuine about these buildings called churches at all. Um, and it all stems from paganism, and it all stems from you know Catholicism, which tried to merge paganism and Christianity. All the denominations are Protestant. They all come from the mother whore, whether they admit it or not. They're all harlots of the mother whore. And it's just, it's unbelievable. Uh, yes, most of these churchgoers, they are self-deceived, as well as having been deceived. It's, it's something that they kind of choose for themselves. But I just pray that more and more people will have their eyes open and that they will just come out of this satanic system. That, you know, God will bring forth more laborers and the word that there will be a rise of true Christians who will follow the word of God and have real fellowship. 
you know, and have uh, have dialogue with one another, not just one man, one man entertaining, and everyone else being a spectator. Uh, no. I guess that's all that I gotta say. So, just some thoughts. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.